here to one. We are at West Main Kitchen on Routes 5 and 20 in the heart of downtown Waterloo. I am sitting down with General Manager Laura Rodriguez and Chef Meryl Moore. How are you guys? Good. How are you doing? Good. Well, thanks for having us <laughs> up to do this. The food was fantastic. You guys are new to the area, or at least new to this downtown scene here in Waterloo. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourselves and how this all came to be. Well, we recently moved up here from New York City. I've known Lee Bieber for um, many years now. He used to be the uh, the owner of the restaurant I used to be the executive chef at, and um, that restaurant closed, and we became we kept our friendship. And then this opportunity uh, rose, and um, her and Laura and I just decided, uh, why not give the Finger Lakes a try? Yeah. And um, we've been up here full time since this fall. Okay. And you both, obviously, you have background in food. That's how it's, your history was. Did you work in the food industry or was this Yeah, I, I worked as a chef. I've also done a lot of front of house work at different restaurants. So I've kind of done all of those areas of the restaurant. So obviously the first thing people are going to realize when they come in here is it is a lot different than what it was before. Um, tell us a little bit about the experience that uh, customers have when they come in to West Main Kitchen? Um, we want them to come in and feel completely welcome. We want them to um, experience some of their old favorites that you would expect from like a diner luncheonette scenario. Mm -hmm. But also, um, we've sort of built trust with them over time to sort of try new things, things mm -hmm. that we want to offer and we get excited about. Um, I mean, the food, that's it. That is probably one of the bigger takeaways people are going to have when they come here, right? Is that it isn't your typical run-of-the-mill diner food, per se. There are certainly some staples on there, but what is that, like, from the chef's side of it, what sort of went into you creating the type of menu you've created, and what was, is it something that's always kind of evolving? I mean, yeah, the menu is definitely always evolving. We always have multiple specials. Like today, we have looks like six or seven. Yeah, you know I mean, it's it's um, a lot of it's based on seasonality. What I can get from some of the farms around here, mm -hmm. um, and then with the basic diner food, everything here is from scratch. There's there's every vegetable here comes in as a vegetable, not in a can. There's no pre-made mixes or anything. I mean, it's so on that side of it, it's actually a lot of work. It's it, the menu kind of looks small for a diner, mm -hmm. but when you actually have to make everything from scratch cooking, it's there is a lot of, of ingredients and steps that go into everything. And that's one of the, I'll say one of the more unique things is that you guys do get everything from the area or you try to stay as local as possible. Talk mm -hmm. to us about what that's like as far as, you know, the process that people hear that and they think to themselves, oh, it's local. But like right. you just said, it's a lot more work, right? Yeah, I mean, it's. It, it, I was up here about six months, three to six months before the restaurant opened over the summer, and that was besides helping paint this place and all the other dirty work that went into getting it to where it is now mm -hmm. was procuring vendors yeah. and local farms and um, all that stuff that went into putting a local menu together, mm -hmm. you know, and it's, it's tough, especially with this price point we do here, because mm -hmm. we are trying to keep the same diner prices, yeah. but yet do everything as local and fresh and seasonal as possible. Mm -hmm. And I mean, you're out here, you're experiencing what the customers are telling you, and I have to admit, I looked online and I, you guys have only been here a couple months, but the positive reviews are just extensive. Um, what has sort of been the feedback you, you you guys both have gotten from customers? But I'm assuming you've heard more of it being out here. I think that I think um, overwhelmingly, you know, of course we have people um, who, you know, aren't necessarily ready for what we're about. But for the most part, we get this great positive feedback um, mm -hmm. about the freshness of the food and how it feels like actual homemade food. You know, yeah. and that feels good with mm -hmm. all the work that's involved and everything that we do and all you know all of this like sort of sourcing that we've done mm -hmm. all over the area and everything um, so uh, for those of you that um, don't know obviously I, there are pictures along with this piece of what I ate 
I had the West Main Burger, I believe it was, uh, talk to us about what that is, what the inspiration for it was, etc. I you had, you had the double stack, which yes. was, which was <laughs> two two patties. Um, it's it's a. Uh, from ground chuck that I get from uh, Boston Farms. Uh, and it's cooked on a flat top here, so it just sort of cooks in its own fat, juices, confit. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, it's pretty much, it's based on a burger that I uh, I do at another burger shop that I'm involved with in the Catskills called Mama's Boy. Okay. And it's the same one we do there pretty much, and it's just been, everyone loves that one, so I figured why not try to do that up here. Yeah. It's um, intended to kind of all melt together and mesh together. And that was, and and honestly, that it was a, required. Yeah, it was a complete mess eating that, navigating that burger. Um, the desserts were really interesting. Two that caught me completely off guard. Uh, the apple pie and then the ginger snap milkshake. Talk to us about them. The apple pie is just a traditional grandma's recipe, apple mm -hmm. pie. And then Laura's idea was to pair it with the the ginger snap ice cream. Uh, mm -hmm. We work with Cayuga Lake Creamery. Mm -hmm. um, we became huge fans of their ice cream over the summer. It was kind of <laughs> a no-brainer to use them. They're fantastic. Mm -hmm. So we are always looking for ways, even in the winter time, to highlight what they do. Mm -hmm. It's so unique. So one last thing before we head out of here. Uh, sell, sell it to those who probably have driven by. You know, just out here, when I was taking some pictures, I was completely surprised at how fast people are going by. Maybe they've seen it, maybe they haven't seen it or caught a glimpse of it. Sell them on why they should be coming here. <laughs> First. <laughs> um, it's a very warm environment. Mm -hmm. We make all of the food, which mm -hmm. I think is a really big selling point, and uh, I think there's something for absolutely everybody on our menu. Mm -hmm. There's definitely something for everyone on the menu. Mm -hmm. The coffee's fantastic. The portion sizes are great, and you know you're gonna get some down home cooking done from scratch. The coffee is also local, right? It's from Ithaca. That, okay, that's right. Yeah. I had talked to Lee Bieber uh, previously, and he said that it was coming from somewhere in central New York. Uh, yeah. What's the? Where is it coming from? What's New Copper York? Horse Copper Horse Roasters, and um, they actually roast it for us okay. once a week. Okay. So we place an order, they roast it the next day, and then they bring it out the following day. So. Jess, Jesse, the owner, is so knowledgeable. Yeah. He comes up here. Yeah. He's always making sure and checking that our, we're doing it right. And, that's awesome. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He trained our staff how to brew drip coffee, which is unusual. Really? So we take that very seriously. We want people to um, sort of rewrite the book on what you would expect, <laughs> uh, you know, from diner coffee. We want yeah. um, a real cup of coffee in your hands and at the bottom of those cups. That's really awesome. All right. Well, I want to thank you guys for taking the time to sit down with me. Thank you guys for visiting. I really appreciate it and we wish you the best of luck moving forward. Thank you.